Synthmaster is bay. What's up dogs, it's Cameron with Venus Theory, and in today's video we're here to take a look at Synthmaster 1 for kind of a review, overview, why I think this is so cool. Um, I can't talk about Synthmaster 1 enough because it's easily my new favorite synth. I have enjoyed this so much, I've had so much fun with the presets, I, I all around love this thing. 13,000 out of 10, go buy it right now. It's cheap, it's incredible, it does so much. It's awesome. So without further ado, let's dive in and take a look at Synthmaster 1. Alright guys, in this video we're here to check out Synthmaster 1, which has easily become one of my favorite synths over the past like month or so that I've had it. Um, this has replaced so many different elements in my workflow just because it sounds great and it can do so much just by itself. So uh, this is the initial ARP that loads up and it sounds like this. <laughs> So really chunky and fat sound out of this. The raw oscillators as well. This is just the saw wave. And you know, for making a nice big deep re-space, so we could just do some unison and detuning here and free sync the oscillators and add a bit of a filter and we get a nice super dark and heavy resound with a bit of clipping because I didn't put a limiter on that. But um, yeah, so Synthmaster 1, uh, this is a subtractive synth, but it's got a lot more to it. So um, if we just look through here, we get two oscillators, two different filters. Uh, we get some pretty flexible routing so we can route our filters in different ways. Uh, you get unison, detuning, stereo spread, which you guys know I'm a big fan of. You can adjust the phase. There's some algorithms here uh, to filter the waveforms. So we get a low pass. Um, you get your band pass, all the standard stuff, bend plus and minus, sync, and then pulse, pulse two, and bit crush. So you can, you know, change the waveform right away. But within this as well, you get all your basic waveforms. You can get a bunch of other waveforms, um, really great sounding ones as well. And you get wavetables as well as audio input because you can run Synthmaster as an effects uh, unit in an insert on a track, which is totally awesome. So effects wise, uh, we get this little section here. So we get distortion, EQ, compression, chorus, delay, and reverb right off the bat. But you can right click and change these out. So we also have a lo-fi, which is like a bit crusher and sample and hold type of deal. Ensemble being a multi-voice chorus. Phaser, uh, which is a phaser. Vocoder, which is awesome for making vocoded stuff or really weird shifty bass lines. Uh, we get a nice tremolo, uh, pretty good reverb, which I'll go over here in a minute, and then all the other effects that I've already talked about. So filter-wise, uh, you get ladder, diode ladder, state variable, and byte filters. So you get all the standard filter shapes, which is great. Nothing too crazy like a comb filter or anything like that. But it does make up for it with this subsection, which we'll talk about in just a second. So LFOs, uh, you get two envelopes of each kind. So we get two amplitude envelopes, two mod envelopes, uh, two LFOs, which I think I already said. Glide, which we can control uh, between normal and uh, slide. Um, vibrato here, which is great if you're doing kind of retro-y synth sounds. Arpeggiator with a ton of different controls. That's probably its own video in itself. Uh, you can check out the manual for Synthmaster to learn about the arpeggiator here. It's really, really cool. Mod matrix, we get a full 12 slots uh, with two targets in each slot, one source and a via, which um, if you know what that is, you'll know why that's cool. Uh, attributes here, you can write your own presets and add a bunch of details, which is always nice. And in the settings, one of my favorite things, uh, we can change our skins, we can do different background noises, um, non-linearities in the filters, there's quality controls, uh, just so much ridiculous stuff. But the coolest thing is we get pitch drift on the oscillators, which is uh, a thing I really enjoy using, and I use that a lot in my own sounds now. 
um, just because it offers it. And it's a great way to provide kind of a, I don't know, more retro analog-y, not so digital feel. So back on the note of the sub oscillator, what's so cool about this is not only does it act as a sub oscillator, but we can change the mode here to do amplitude modulation, ring modulation, phase modulation, and frequency modulation. And that is just in combination with stuff like wavetables and audio inputs and, you know, doing stuff like that, it, it just offers such an absolutely insane amount of sound design possibilities. So to get back into the sounds of this, um, I'm just going to go through some presets here to show you guys how this sounds in general. So let's go ahead and take a listen to some basses. <laughs> So really nice retro sounds as well as very modern um, types of things. Uh, we get a bunch of drums. And just so much insane stuff that you can do with this synth. pads and the thing I love most about this synth I, I've got to say is just the fact that I can go from a really retro sound to something very modern and aggressive sounding and the 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 pads in this synth just oh my god You know, one of the one of the kind of funny things with this synth is uh, I, I do have several different expansions here, but the presets that this comes with are all like really good, and I was kind of shocked just because you know usually your your uh, your factory library is just going to be like okay, you know, it's just going to be like five or six sounds that are actually good, and then a bunch of like demos of like things it can do, but like. All of the sounds that it comes with are super usable right out of the gate. And another thing about this, um, which I talked a bit about in the uh, Analog Lab video that I did, is that even on the high end... <laughs> Not a whole lot of like crazy aliasing and weirdness goes on um, low end as well. Really nice solid tone across the board from this thing and just the flexibility is, a, I don't know, it's just something I've always wanted because um, if you guys have been on the channel for a while you know that I'm a huge huge fan of Retrolog 2 that comes with Cubase. But this synth has entirely killed that for me because this is the synth that does all of the things I wish Retrolog did. And, you know, it handles retro y and atmospheric and, you know, weird to really aggressive upfront modulated basses that I can bounce out and resample. And, you know, and with the wavetable stuff, um, you guys may know I'm not really a big fan of wavetables, but being able to have it in this context i don't know what it is about it exactly but it just really works for me and it's actually gotten me back into it so much so that i actually ended up importing all of the massive wavetables into synth master to be able to use them again because massive is a great synth and synth master is a really great kind of uh not necessarily evolution but just an alternative to stuff like serum and massive for those of us like myself that weren't really the biggest fans of serum and you know maybe massive is just kind of old news and you want something different but for the price point i i cannot recommend this synth enough i love this thing to death because you know it's something i can pull up grab a preset start writing and then load a new initialized preset and make something just exactly how i want to make it and the cool thing is just synth master really doesn't get in the way you know it just it's laid out in such a way that it just works and i can get work done with it which is awesome so yeah all around 
5,000 out of 10 if you do not own this and you're looking for something that does, you know, wavetables and whatever. And if you're just looking for a synth in general and you only want to spend, like, not even a paycheck on it, this is an amazing choice for that. And that's it for this video, guys. So thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this. As always, be sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys again soon.